Yar, up on Alan Porter. There be work to be done. Salty is a dockyard diesel who lives and works at Brendam Docks on Edwards Branch Line. He loves the seas and the ships that sail, and is renowned the island over not just for being very friendly. Ahoy there, Edward! Morning, Salty! But also for telling thrilling tales of the sea. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a 90-foot sea monster, no, two sea monsters, emerge in front of our ship. Whoa! What did you do then? What else? I scared him off. But how? I took a deep breath and went... Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> but what Salty is known best for is being a very hard worker. Tirelessly working and never complaining. All of the engines like Salty, and Salty likes all of the engines. Except one. Dennis is the polar opposite of Salty. He is a lazy diesel. No matter how small a job he is given, he always has an excuse to get out of doing it. There you are, Dennis. Your train is all ready for you. Oh, my train? What train? Your goods train for Brendam Docks? Oh yeah, that one. Didn't anyone tell you? Another engine has come to take it instead of me. Oh no, you don't. I've heard all about you. You're just making an excuse. You've been sitting in that shed all morning. Some fresh air will do you good. It's about time you... Okay, okay. I'll go if it'll get you to stop yapping on. That battery of yours gives you too much energy. Hmph. <laughs> I haven't time to bother with you any longer. Just do your job. <laughs> Dennis reluctantly crawled out of his shed and back onto his tree. Once he was coupled up, he set off. Back at the docks, Salty was happy and hard at work as usual. Good work, shipmate! <laughs> Just then, Dennis arrived. Hello there, what can we do for you? I've brought a train that was to be delivered here. Oh, well, thank you. Just leave it there and I'll sort it out for you. Thanks. Porter had never met Dennis before. He didn't know that Dennis was a lazy engine or that Salty didn't like him. So, what job have you got next? None. This is my only job today. I'm going back to the yard for a rest now. Oh, wait a moment. If you're heading back to the yard, could you take these coal trucks with you? Oh, I'd love to. But you see, I'm afraid my fitter has forbidden me to pull. But you just pull the train here. Potter, what be keeping you? Ah, it's you. Finally decided to turn your wheels for once, eh? I've just brought a train here. I've asked him to take these coal trucks to the yard, but he said he couldn't. Did he now? Now listen here, I don't have time for lazy engines. If you're here on the Fat Controllers Railway, you're here to be really useful. If it were up to me, you'd have walked the plank a long time ago. Huh. Huh. And I won't stay here to be talked to like that. I'm off to the shed. Good riddance. Useless engine. You're a waste of diesel oil and a disgrace to this railway. Dennis was back in the yard and sulking in the shed. Oh, you're back. How was your journey? Awful. Salty was very rude to me. He said I was a useless engine and called me a waste of diesel oil and a disgrace to the railway. Can you believe the nerve to say such a thing? Aren't you going to say anything? Salty, are you alright? I've never seen you act like that before. I'm fine. That engine just gets right under me paintwork. I've no patience for an engine who won't so much as turn a wheel. What do you want me to say? 
Are you expecting me to agree with you? Sultan is right, you are a lazy engine. You couldn't even be bothered to bring back some coal trucks. That wasn't me being lazy. I just don't want to be near coal. Coal dust could block my engine. Enough with the excuses already. Besides, that coal was important. Without it, it will cause confusion and delay. Oh, please. In what way would it cause confusion and delay? Express engine coming through. One tender topper, please. Sorry, Golden. The hopper is empty. I'm afraid the coal wasn't delivered. What? But I need to fill my tender now. The express is waiting. We'll just have to find another engine to take it. Bother. When I find out who's responsible, I'll give them what for. All right, I get it. I get what you're saying, Salty. You're a hard worker and don't like engines who don't pull their weight. It just grinds me gears, Porter. We engines are lucky to be in service, but Dennis doesn't appreciate what he's got here. Uh, Salty, be careful. Look out for those... Arr! Trucks? Shiver me timbers. I'm marooned. That lazy good-for-nothing diesel. This is all his fault. When the fat controller heard the news, he headed straight for Natford Yard in search of one particular engine. Whoa, 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 Winston! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, Dennis! Salty has been in an accident and has been sent to the works. I want you to work in his place until he returns. Me? Oh, sir, I'm honoured. But I'm afraid I have to decline. Sea air really isn't good for me, you see, and enough, Dennis! I don't want any more excuses from you. Salty's accident was with the coal trucks you were supposed to bring back here. If you had brought them, he would not have collided with them now, would he? I... I... I suppose not, sir. Right. Now, get to the docks immediately. I've asked Porter and Cranky to keep a close eye on you. I expect you to work hard. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Whoa, 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 Winston! Cranky, has Salty ever acted like this before? Acted like what? Well, Salty, I guess. I've never seen him hate an engine so much. Well, I knew he didn't like lazy engines, particularly Dennis, but I'll admit, I've never seen him act so... salty either. Right? He works hard and is always happy. To see him act in such a way is so strange and a little concerning. At that moment, Dennis sauntered into the docks. Um, hello. I'm here to work in Salty Stead. Oh, you are, are you? Well, just know that we don't tolerate laziness or excuse making here. We're far too busy for any of that. That's right, you're here to work. If you're here in Salty's place, you will work just as hard as him, understand? Yes, yes I do. Come on, let's get started already. It's fair to say that at first, Dennis struggled to work efficiently. It had been so long since he had done any real work. But as the days passed, Hort and Cranky saw big changes in Dennis's work ethic. And although he didn't want to express it to them, Dennis was beginning to enjoy himself. I've got to say, Dennis, you're really coming along. Really? You think so? Absolutely. You're a completely different engine than when we first met. You can't tell me you haven't noticed yourself. I suppose I must admit it has been somewhat fun. I think what I'm trying to say is it kind of feels good to end the day knowing you worked hard. I think what you're trying to say is you're feeling pride. You deserve to. You've worked hard. Even Cranky thinks so. Keep at it and you'll go far. The next morning, the fat controller came by to see how Dennis was doing. Good morning, Porter. Morning, sir. I've come to see how Dennis is doing. How has he been performing? Oh, very well, sir. He's like a different engine. Isn't that right, Cranky? Yes, surprisingly, he's been working very hard. Well, that's excellent news. 
I'm very pleased to hear this, Dennis. I hope you'll continue this work ethic once Salty comes back. Speaking of which, I'm off to see him now. He should be back in service soon. Eight years, and he still can't drive our car properly. At the works, Salty was preparing to leave when the fat controller arrived. Hello, Salty. How are you feeling? Ahoy there, Captain. Er, I mean, sir. I'm feeling shipshape. I'm ready to return to the dockside effective immediately. That's great news. But, uh, before you do, I'd like for you to do another job first. Another job? What do you mean? What are you saying, sir? Well, while you've been here at the works, I asked Dennis to work in your place. Dennis, that lazy engine. I bet the docks is in a shambles with Porter working on his own. On the contrary, Dennis has been working very hard. Even Porter and Cranky told me so. They say he's like a new engine. I'd like to keep him there just a little longer in hopes of his work ethic improving further. In the meantime, I'd like for you to do his work. Me, I, uh, well, I, well, um, okay, I, I mean, aye aye, sir. Thank you, Salty. I promise this is only temporary. Your first train is waiting for you at Knapford Yard. Aye aye, sir. Setting course for Knapford Yard. Philip was just finishing shunting the train when Salty came in. Hello, Salty. What are you doing here? Don't you normally work at the docks? Oi, Philip, I do. But I've had to swap duties with Dennis so we can learn the value of hard work. What's my first delivery? Oh, it's a load of salt for the restaurant at Wellsworth. I guess you're the perfect engine to deliver salt, eh? Get it? Because you're salty. Hilarious. Salty delivered the salt to Wellsworth and had to wait for it to be unloaded. Then... To me. To you. Careful now. Sturdy on. Whoa! Ah. Oops. Sorry. Oh. There wasn't time to clean Salty. He had another train to collect. This time from Crosby. There you are, Salty. Your train is ready for you. Oi, oi, sir. Where is it bound for? Brendam Docks. Brendam Docks. At the docks, Dennis continued to work hard and Porter and Cranky continued to enjoy his hard work. Dennis, move these trucks of rock salt out of the way for me. Then fetch a flatbed so I can unload this ship. Right out, Cranky. I'll get right on it. As Dennis waited to be coupled to the trucks, Salty approached the docks. He was still seething at the thought of Dennis and thinking what he was going to say to him. Once I see that good-for-nothing diesel, I'll tell him just what I- Oh! Oh! Salty? Salty? Uh, salty? Gah! Rock salt! You've got to be kidding me, Dennis. Your laziness has caused yet another accident. If you hadn't been sitting around, I wouldn't have crashed into you. Salty, please, I'm sorry. Salty, please calm down. Dennis wasn't just sitting around, he was waiting to be coupled up. He's turned around, Salty. He's become a useful engine now. If anything, I'd say this accident was your fault. My fault? What are you saying? Oh, I get it. It's all clear to me now. You caused my accident so you could replace me and turn my friends against me. Salty, you're crazy. None of that is true. Stow it! Oh, I wish you the best of luck in trying to run this place like I did. Brendan Docks will never see a dockyard diesel as hard working than yours truly. Salty! Salty! Watch out! Whoa! 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 whoa. Salty! Barbaric barnacles! I'm going overboard! Salty, I'm coming! Stay calm, Salty. I've got you. Dennis, you saved me, even after all the things I said to you. Thank you. You're... 
You're welcome, Salty. Salty, uh, are you alright? Oi, I am now. Dennis, I owe you a sincere apology. I know you weren't trying to replace me. I was just cross. I like to think I'm a hard worker and don't like engines who don't pull their weight. But I can see you've turned yourself around and I respect you for that. I've been covered in cooking salt and rock salt and if it weren't for you, I'd have fallen in the drink of sea salt. I do hope you can forgive me. Salty, I'm the one who should be asking for forgiveness. This whole thing was my fault. If I hadn't been lazy and had taken those trucks, you wouldn't have had your accident. But since working here, I've learned so much about what it means to be a really useful engine. I promise I will follow in your track so I can be just as useful as you. Ah, very good. I wish you luck, shipmate. You too. I'm glad you've made up. Isn't it wonderful, Cranky? Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm close to tears up here. Now, how about you lot look lively and get some work done? Oi oi, Captain! Dennis, thanks for everything. Hope to see you in port again soon, me hearty. You're welcome, Salty, and thank you. Look forward to seeing you all again soon, too. Salty and Dennis return to their normal jobs, and both were very happy. While Salty is still the jovial, sea-loving, hard-working diesel he has always been, Dennis is a changed engine. No longer is he lazy, no longer does he make excuses. Now, he is a really useful engine indeed. And Salty, for one, is proud to call him, as he would say, a shipmate, but as we would say, a friend.